up everybody, my name's Kirk. I am super excited that you're in Connect today. Woo! What do you think it would be like if kids were in charge of the world? Well, at Connect HQ, kids aren't taking over the world, but kids sure can be great leaders. We have a point that's about that. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Okay, great, here we go. Kids can be a godly example. Great job! Now it is time for one of my favorite things that we do in Connect, and that is worship. So let's go to Connect HQ right now to learn more. When it's showtime, it's okay to just sit back and watch. But when it's worship time, everybody gets up to sing. The songs that Connect are an excellent way to let God know that He comes first in our life. Nothing can stop us from showing Him that He deserves our best singing and our endless energy. So get up on your feet and let's connect to God together. I know God made me And I know God loves me And He knows What's best for me Cause He knows Every single thing And I believe His promise is true Cause everything He says He will do On a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday Come on and lift your 
together and at the beginning of this video you were asked the question what would it be like if kids were in charge of the world what do you guys think it would be like do you think things would be a little bit different probably that doesn't mean it'd be bad right well today that's going to lead us right into what our main point is that we're going to learn about in connect hq so did you guys know that you can be a godly leader or godly example example no matter how old you are and no matter where you're at did you know that and do you guys believe that that you could be the youngest kid in your family you could be the youngest kid in your class and you could still be a godly leader and have people follow you that's so cool to think about and i'm so excited that today in connect hq we get to learn about that and see what the bible says about being a godly leader no matter how old you are no matter where you're at god calls us to be godly leaders and it's by following his ways so we're going to head over to Connect HQ and see what they learned about being a godly leader and following Jesus' ways, and I will be back after the video. Too much. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Harper, and this is the time I learned that anyone can be a godly example. Okay, final quiz question. When you make a choice, should you A, think about yourself, or B, be polite and think about others? Uh, C, best to be a godly example. That's not on here. But when you make that choice, you should be an example by showing you love God and follow Him. You can't hide that fact. Agreed, but that's still not on here. Well, it should be. Answer B, I guess. All right, based on this quiz, my ideal job would be a construction site manager. What does it say about me? Based on your age, you would be a good junior volunteer. Junior volunteer? Are you sure it doesn't say something about being a senior leader? Hey, at least it didn't say construction site manager. But if you were a site manager, you would be overseeing projects and leading people. A junior volunteer doesn't sound like a leader. 
It's just a magazine quiz. It doesn't mean anything. What would it be like if I was a construction site manager? Wearing hard hats every day, scribbling on my schematics. Ooh, singing construction songs with my crew. I don't think that's how site managers work. I'll look into it. Hey Luke, have you seen the official Connect HQ orientation binder? What are you looking for that old thing for? Well, our friend Tony is arriving today and Captain Ray asked me to lead him through orientation. Well, you don't need that binder. You've given plenty of tours. Not an official one on my own. I'm starting to think I'm just a junior volunteer who isn't ready. I haven't had the experience. Harper, I think you're a really great leader and you've taught people a lot of things. But if you feel like you need help, you can find the tour guide binder on the bookshelf by the lockers. Thanks. I will warn you, though. It reads like it was written by an 80-year-old robot. I'll take my chances. Uh, just so you know, you don't have to be an adult to lead people and be a good example of what God is like. Kids can be a godly example. I know you're right, but having the binder won't hurt. Oh, hey! Check this out. Wanna do it on the chair? Nothing. But when I do it on the wall, makes that baby noise. See, I think that means that there's something buried in this wall by mistake. Yeah, it's a, it's a stud finder. Right, right, studs. Mm -hmm. Studs, right, yeah, something a construction site manager should know. Yep, yep. Walls have beepy studs. Cut. Thank you, Mr. Uh... Oh, uh, Tony. Yeah, uh, today's my first day, so I'm, I'm here for orientation. Um, and I'm actually looking for the hub. Is, is, is this the hub? Well, it's nice to meet you, Tony, and this is not the hub. You had to go two floors down. Oh, okay. Um, got it. Uh, are you part of the tools and tech group? It's tech and tools. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I knew, knew that. It's, yeah, got that. Yeah, and no, I'm not. I'm just trying on a different hat today. Check this out. I didn't feel a thing. Awesome, yeah. You seem a bit nervous. Uh, mm, a, a little, but it's okay. I'm prepared. I made these little note cards with great questions on them, and I'm gonna ask the questions during the tour. Exactly, yeah. No need to be nervous. Mm -hmm. You'll be fine. Oh, oh no. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Welcome to Connect HQ. We are thrilled to have you join our conglomerate. Why wouldn't you just say team? Hey, are, are you Harper? I am. You must be Tony. I am. I'm sorry. I, I got turned around. I'm a little bit late. Offer a firm handshake. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. It's, um, your, it's a handshake you got there. Um, are you, uh, are you my orientation leader? By the book. Oh, you are in good hands. Harper is very smart and knows so much about Connect HQ. Awesome. Connect HQ is short for Connect Headquarters. See? Full of facts. Is, is, that a, is that a field office message? Yeah, it sure is. Let's check it out. Ah, it's coming from our field office in Tucson, Arizona. Hello, Connect HQ. It's Craig from the field office here in sunny Tucson, Arizona. And I have Annabelle with me, and she has a question and wants to know if we can help. Hi, Connect HQ. Sometimes I wish I could hurry up and grow up faster. My older brother is president of his student council and everyone looks up to him and is so proud of the example he sets. I can't wait to be older like him so that I can do lots of fun and important things too. But I'm just a kid. How can I make time hurry up so that I can get older and set an example for others? Think you can help HQ? I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how to speed up time. Well, let's rephrase the question. What can you do to be a leader where you are right now, no matter what age you are? Uh-huh, I like that better. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll look for a verse link. Harper, how about you and Tony look for a Bible link during your orientation? But that's not in the binder. Well, you'll figure it out. You've done it before, you'll do it again. Lead the way, Harper. Connect HQ has many sets of stairs and hallways. Mm -hmm. 
What's with the cones and tool belt? Oh, I'm pretending to be a construction site manager for a day. Safety is top priority. Well, I can't argue with that. Hey, do you want to help me find a verse link? Sure. All right, crew, that's lunch. Who are you talking to? My crew. They're a rough bunch, but I can manage. Well, I like your hat very safe. Thanks. Oh, hey, look at this. Didn't feel a thing. Welcome to the lounge, where food is consumed, relaxation is encouraged in the lounge. Awesome. Um, I have a question. Uh, is this where the giant rat lives? What? Oh, um, sorry, that's for the basement. Um, you know what, just keep going and I'll, I'll find the right card with the right question. Sorry, it's hard to keep track of all of these. Here, let me see your cards. You should number these. There you go. Hmm. That's a great solution. Thank you. That's what we do here at Connect HQ. We help people find solutions for their problems. Is that in the binder? I'm a little off script. Are you sure you even need that thing? Yep. I'm only a junior volunteer. Moving along. Hmm. Beverages are consumed in the lounge. Beverage is another word for drink. Oh, that that's what that means. <laughs> Okay, so the reason Annabelle wants the day to go by faster is so she can grow up faster, so that she can be a leader like her brother. Yeah, she doesn't think she's important because she's a kid. Well, what about that verse in the book of 1 Timothy? Chapter 4, verse 12? You read my mind. Well, then say it with me like this. 1 Timothy 4, 12. 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. That's perfect, Luke. Annabelle doesn't have to wait to grow up to be a leader. Well, she can start right now by setting a godly example. The verse link is 1 Timothy 4.12. Verse link acquired. Well, I better get back to work. Those scaffolds aren't gonna build themselves, <laughs> am I right? Hey, quick question, what's a scaffold? Oh, okay, the observatory, I have a question about this one. Um, when'd you guys get this table? That must be for the lounge. Um, let's see, uh, how many cubbies do you guys? That's, that's also for the lounge. Um, Okay, here's one. Milk, bread, tomatoes. That's my grocery list. I, I don't know how that got in there, sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm really nervous. You know, I want to make a good first impression, that's why I brought these. I completely understand. I wanted to make a good tour, so I brought this orientation binder. Well, hey, I got an idea. How about we just sit these down, we sit down, and we just be ourselves. Good idea. Well, here's a question. What's your favorite thing about working for Connect HQ? The people I work with. They all set such godly examples. I get to watch them and learn about how to love God and make wise choices. I bet that wasn't that crusty old binder. Probably not. What about you? How did you end up with Connect? Well, um, I love helping people with their problems, and I want my relationship with Jesus to build on a daily basis while also building a solid foundation in His teachings. You know, that reminded me of a Bible link we could use to help Annabelle. Really? Let's let's check it out. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. 
Jesus traveled, teaching about the kingdom of heaven, and crowds followed him. They didn't know yet that Jesus is the king, but he taught them how to live as people of his kingdom. People do good, said Jesus, because of the good in their hearts. People do evil when evil is in their hearts. God wants to make your heart like his heart. Don't worry about things like food and clothes, said Jesus. Put God first in your life. Obey him, trust him. He will make sure that you have what you need. Jesus taught this prayer. Father God, your name is holy. Reign on earth like you reign in heaven. Meet our needs today. Help us obey you. All power is yours forever. Then Jesus told a story. One man built his house on a rock. A big storm came. Because the house was built on a rock, it did not fall down. Another man built his house on soft and shifting sand. A big storm came. Because the house was built on sand, it fell down with a crash. The things I teach you are like the rock, said Jesus. Put my words into action, and you will be like the man who built his house on a rock. Just like you said, Jesus' teachings give us a strong, solid foundation so we can be a godly example. Yeah, Annabelle doesn't have to speed up time to be a godly example. It doesn't matter what age you are. Kids can be followers of Jesus, and they can lead people to live godly lives just like adults. Just like you, Harper. What do you mean? Well, you've been a godly example all day today. You've helped me solve a problem. You made me feel welcomed. You were kind, helpful, and honest. And I can tell you're going to be an amazing person to work with. Thanks for saying that, Tony. The Bible link is the king and the kingdom. Bible link acquired. We did it. Should we uh, continue our tour? Let's go introduce you to the guys downstairs. Do you need that thing? No. I think I can take it from here. Awesome. Why don't we get one of those slick watches? How did it go, guys? That was a five-star tour. I cannot ask for a better first day or for a better leader. Well, that is why Captain Ray chose you, Harper. She knew that you could lead well. For a little while, I felt like I wasn't good enough to lead because I didn't have years of experience. But you guys helped me remember Kids can be a godly example. That is a perfect point link for Annabelle. Tony, you got this. I would love to. The point link is kids can be a godly example. Point link acquired. Man, I'm gonna love working here. Okay, according to the magazine quiz, your ideal job would be a skydiving instructor. Oh! Skydiving? Nah, that is incredibly unsafe. You know, Harper is right. This magazine doesn't know what it's talking about. Yeah, agreed. It turns out that a construction site manager isn't that safe either. I think I'm just gonna stick with my original job. <laughs> Hanging up Can I have your vest? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Safe, yes. It is. Safe. Good. Good. See, I told you. Hey, we just got a message from HQ. Let's check it out. Hi, Annabelle. My name is Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. No matter how old you are, you can follow Jesus' teachings and make choices that honor God. Right now, you can set an example to lead others to lead a godly life. Jesus taught us who God is and what He's like. Following Jesus' teachings is like building your life on a solid rock. You are always an example, whether you know it or not. People are always watching, even when you don't know it. How you live your life affects others. Annabelle, you don't have to wait to grow up to lead and set an example for others. Spend time with God and build your life off of Jesus' teachings, and you can be a godly example. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Thanks, Connect HQ. 12 Tasty Bean Recipes An interview with Joe Superior, titled, 
better than you. How to buy bandanas. Who is this magazine for? Every day, you're an example to those around you with what you say and do. You may not have all the right answers or the most important job, but Emmy is looking at how Jesus lived and following Him. If you would like to make that decision today and follow Jesus with your life and be a godly example, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure and talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. That is the most important decision that you can make. Be sure to talk to a trusted adult before we finish today to learn more about it. Now we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it. I need you to say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Great job. No matter how young you are, you can be a leader. So let's play a game called Kid Says. In this game, the kids are the boss. Let each kid have a turn, choosing an action for the whole family to do, grownups included. You could do things like uh, hop on one leg or spin around or stand on your head. Go ahead, pause the video and play the game. God has good things for all of us to do, no matter how young we are. Don't wait until you're a grown up to start leading others. Thank you so, so much for joining me in Connect today, and I will see you later. Welcome back, Venture Kids. So did you learn anything new today? Did you guys know that you are leaders and that you can be a leader even if you are the youngest person and you can be a leader for older people and younger people. Isn't that cool to think about? And I want you guys to believe it because it's so important. And so today at Connect HQ we learned about what does it what does it mean to be a godly example, to set a good example and to be a good leader. When we choose to do that it means we're choosing to follow Jesus' way and believe in him. So following Jesus, we learned through our Bible story, is like building our house on solid rock. When we choose to build our house on solid rock, we know that's going to stand, right? And so it's kind of like building houses, like building our relationship with Him and what we're doing with our life. So if we choose to follow Jesus' way, then we're, we're building our relationship on who Jesus is and we are choosing to walk out in His ways and we know that we can stand on it. Even when the storm comes, it might be hard, but we know that Jesus is never going to leave us and it's never going to get washed away. But if we don't choose to follow Jesus' way and we choose to go our own way or what the world does, you know what it's like, like what we're building our life or relationship on? We're building it on sand because we know that when we choose not to follow Jesus, everything else can be washed away, whether if we're building it on other relationships or other things in this world. It's like sand because that's going to get washed away. Jesus is the only thing that we can truly build our life on that won't get washed away. And so to be able to be a good leader and set that godly example, that means we're choosing to build our life on what Jesus says and following his ways. And so it, whether you know it or not, you are setting an example. Isn't that cool to think about? And you have a choice to set a godly example or choose to go your own way, which when we choose to go our own way, does it work out? Not usually, right? And so I want you guys to think about it. What does it mean to set a godly example? What does that look like? Well, in our Bible verse, we talked about how what we say and what our actions are sets an example. And we can choose to say some mean things and do some wrong things, right? And that's not setting a godly example. And so when we choose to follow Jesus' way in our actions and our words and our thoughts, that's setting a good example, and that's being a godly leader. And each of you guys can do that no matter how old you are. 
So I have a challenge for you. I want you to think about what are some ways you can spend time with God and build your life on His foundation, right? Because we don't want to build it on sand that's going to just be pushed away. So what would that look like for you? Maybe it's different for everyone else. Maybe that is worshiping, singing your songs. Maybe that's reading the Bible with your family, praying or talking with your friends and family and asking questions. But whatever we do, it's choosing to follow Jesus' way, and that's what, when we do that, we build our life on His foundation and not the sinking sand. So I want you to think about this that this week. Talk to your family. What would that look like for you? With your kids, how we live and the actions and the words we say affect the people around us, even if we know it or not. So each of you have gifts and talents that God has put inside you. Did you know that? Every single one of you. And you get to choose to use them to follow God's way and follow what Jesus calls us to do, or we can go our own way. And you're a leader wherever you go, and so you can choose to be a godly leader and be a good example, or you have the choice to go your own way. But I want to encourage you guys, no matter where you are, no matter how old you are, know that we can choose to be godly examples for our friends, for our families, and our schools, wherever we are. So, bunch of kids, I'm going to close this in prayer. And remember, if you have any prayer requests, I would love, love to know how we can be praying for you. So, tell your parents and let them send an email to this email below. And we would love to pray for you and know how we can be supporting you and praying for you. So, will you guys bow your heads and close your eyes with me and let's just talk to God together. Because he, He's listening and He loves to hear us talk to Him. God, I thank you for today. I thank you for every kid who is joining us online. And God, I thank you that you have put gifts and talents in each of us where we get to choose whether we want to use them to set a godly example or go our own way. And so God, I pray that each kid right now will know that no matter where they're at, that they can be a good leader and they can lead by following your ways and trusting you. God, will you help them know how much you love them and that you are with them. And God, will you give them the courage and the boldness to be leaders in their schools and wherever they're at, will they follow your ways. And we continue to build our lives on the solid foundation rather than the sinking sand. And I pray this all in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, Venture Kids, I want to leave you with one more thing. I want you to know that He loves you so much. God loves you so much and He created you. And even before you were born, He knew you and He knew exactly what you were going to be like, what you were going to look like. And He put special gifts inside you to be able to be used for His glory and let other people know about who He is. And He loves you so much and He desires to have a relationship with you. And we can trust that God has good plans for us when we choose to follow Him and give our lives to Him. And maybe the plans aren't always going to be easy, right? We know the plans aren't always going to be easy. But what we do know is that God is always going to be with us. So maybe you haven't fully surrendered your life to Jesus. Maybe you're thinking, I haven't given my life to him. I haven't asked the forgiveness of my sins. If you haven't done that and that's something you want to do, I would love to be able to pray with you or talk with you. Or make sure you let your parents know. And I know they would love to do that. So Venture Kids, remember God loves you and he's with you. And we can trust that he has good plans for us. So there's going to be some questions on the screen after me that you can talk about with your family. I miss each of you so much. I wish I could see you in person, and I'm so glad you were able to join me this morning, and I hope you have a great week.